you came on your tapon, huh? So all oh, you with your tapon. And knock knock area as all you know that knock area is uh, our people territory. Everybody know uh Eden Tart. Anybody don't know Eden Tart? Everybody know. We know uh, Nick Wakeling, okay? We know uh, Kim Well and many other liberal leaders, we know them. Huh? So today we are very honored to have the two important guests here. Uh, Peter is a very, very hum humble man. He's not radical, he's not like other politician, very radical. He's a very humble man, very approachable. So we hope maybe next election he will be our Prime Minister. Okay? And another young lady sitting beside him is uh, Roshi Roshina. He is taking, he is a candidate for Eastern, where Eden Tai has been holding for century. Eh? Okay? So I, we hope that. Uh, Rosina, we have the by election on the 1st February, very soon, huh? 1st February. 1st uh, April, sorry. 1st April, huh? 1st April. Not very really long, uh, less than one month. Okay? So, all you try to vote for Rosina Libra for Aston. Okay? You understand that? So after that, they will say something to you. If you don't understand, you can ask him. Then after that, uh, Peter will socialize and Rosina will socialize with you people. You can ask them any question. But don't ask for money, huh? Okay. okay? Uh, another thing is that our club is a very established club. That's how Peter asked me what we need. Of course, financially, we need money, huh? Okay? We need money. And then also, uh, we need, uh, because some of the old people, they have difficulty understanding English because in Australia you have to know some simple English at least you go to shopping, you go to see the doctor, GP, you go to post office, anything you need simple English but some of them completely they don't you know, know English so this is our problem, it's a language barrier also, it's our problem so we try to maybe as a council to send an English teacher to give up a English class, we have Chinese class already if the uh, council will send us, uh, Peter will tell the council to send us an uh, English teacher to teach uh, those who doesn't understand any English, okay? Uh, okay, now I think our club is very cooperative, huh? very good club, and all of them are very helpful, especially the committee member, they all are very helpful. So, we hope that together we can make ourselves stronger and the liberals stronger, okay? Right. So now I, I ask uh, our people leader, Peter, to say a few words. Thank you. William, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I want to say thank you very much to you and the committee for having Rashida and I here with you today. It's very it's a, it's a great pleasure to be with you today. I wanted to say just a couple of things, but firstly, uh, where's Kai, oh, my table tennis partner? <laughs> Where is he? He's, uh, he's a world champion. He's down there. Oh, here he is, here he is. Uh, thank, you, thank you very much. Uh, you, were, you were taking it easy on me, so thank you. Uh, especially when the TV camera was there, because they'll only play back the shots that I missed. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for... Uh, for that. I want to say thank you very much to the committee and to all of you for being part of such an important club. The ability to come together, to celebrate culture, to share ideas, to be friends and particularly for older Australians as sometimes kids and grandkids are busy and don't get a chance to visit as often as they should. Getting people out of their homes and coming down to exercise, to share food, to have a discussion is really very important. So thank you very much to everybody who has made this club such a success. I'm really proud of the work that Alan Touch did as a local member and Alan's been a dear friend of mine 
for a long time. He's been under a lot of pressure lately, and you would have seen him speak about the death threats that his daughter had received. And I think that just becomes too much. And he's decided to retire from the seat. And Rashida Campbell, who's a barrister, she was a solicitor before that. She's a mum of three children and has worked really hard, values family, and she has uh, stuck her hand up to be our candidate for the by-election, as William pointed out, on the 1st of April. And if you're able to support her, I would be very grateful to you because I think it's important for this by-election for the locals in Aston to be able to select a candidate who is going to work hard and be a real champion for the needs that you have in the local community. And Rashida has demonstrated that. Uh, she's a hard worker. She was out door knocking the day after she was pre-selected and she will fight every day for this community and for the outcomes that you want. I'm really proud to be leader of the Liberal Party. I spoke the other day with uh, a couple of friends, including Irene and Marcus and others. When I grew up, we had Chinese neighbours and my mum jokes that I was taught to use chopsticks before I learned to use a knife and fork. And uh, I have a deep respect for the people in our country of Chinese heritage who have come here, worked hard, worked really hard and provided for their children, educated their children, a wonderful part of our country and work hard to see us stay safe to make sure that people can be rewarded, not taxed too much, the harder you work, you should keep more of your own money. And that's what the Liberal Party is about, making sure that people have the opportunity for their children and grandchildren that maybe they could never have imagined a generation or two ago. So the Liberal Party supports people who work hard. We value the family unit and the support that families provide to each other, and that's a very important part of who we are as a Liberal family. So. Thank you so much for having me here today and congratulations to the club. Thank you again to William for your leadership and for all of the members here who provide in this wonderful hall a good opportunity to come together, to share stories, to be friends and most importantly to take care of each other. So thank you very much for having us today. Thank you. Committee for your leadership. It's so clear to me what an important role you play for this community here. And I was very impressed when I arrived. William had made two bubbly pots of congee to start the day, which is how my dad liked to start the day. He always said, no toast and cereal, congee is the best way, and if you're sick, congee is the only cure. So it was lovely seeing that here today. And I know particularly for all of you, uh, this is a very important meeting place, a very important part of your week. Can I say, seeing you out there doing Tai Chi, playing table tennis, I can only hope I'm as fit as all of you are as I get older. It is very, very impressive. And we also know that this is such an important social role you play. Uh, we know for a lot of older people in our community, loneliness is one of the hardest things. So I'm delighted for the work that William and the committee do to bring you all together. And I know that Alan Touch has been a huge supporter of you. And, and my pledge is this, I will always listen to you because I think you know what is best for the community. Groups like yours do such an important role, often a much better job than government, of supporting each other. And my job is to make sure I'm listening to learn how I can support you. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. What I'd love to do is come and meet you, hear your questions, and if you'd like to share any ideas with me, I would love that very much. But thank you for the honor of having us here today. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音